What's up, y'all? It is time for another screwdriver video, and this one is primarily going to be on the Vessel brand, my actual preferred, arguably the best number one tip Phillips screwdriver is the Vessel. I've been using this fellow for about uh, probably a year, a little over a year, and it is actually, honestly, is one of my favorite ones that I've ever used, mainly for mortise cylinder screws. Taking off the Phillips head that are a number one tip screw from mortise cylinders because most of us do that on the daily you know this if you're in another profession then it, it's if you need a number one tip screwdriver uh here you go we're going to talk about why also we're going to talk about what justin sent us justin t sent us a couple of new screwdrivers obligatory siren trying to film here damn so while we are primarily focused on this one the number one by 75 because it is pretty much it actually could be a little bit shorter but for mortise cylinder screws like this it is ideal it has a perfect area right here that flares down so that you can spin the screw off you know a lot of people say why aren't you using a drill why aren't you using a cordless screwdriver well we have one now that we're going to try to use thanks to justin t but in in the the, the general sense having one of these near your pinning kit, if you're repinning a lot of mortise cylinders, can be very invaluable because the longer, number one, the longer a, uh, a Phillips head is to do that, the greater chance of you slipping off because mainly when we're doing this, right, we have it on a table like this and we're pushing down and doing that. And with this nice ball in, it just kind of feels really comfortable in the hand. Again, it could be a little, you know, just nitpicking. It could be like to there really is all it needs to be. It doesn't necessarily need to be that long. But again, as you start spinning the screw off, this area around the shank is nice and thin. Uh, the, the, the bigger it is or the, the bigger area it has like this is just not conducive to a good spin. Number one, the shank is too thin. This is and you know uh, just not fond of pretty much any other one besides this guy for this so that is it and then we're going to take a look at what justin sent us look everybody's like oh posted this on twitter thanks again justin t this is a not sold in america 220 usb plus electronic usb chargeable screwdriver that comes with number two so it has a chuck just like an impact drill uh however i just noticed something normally i carry some bits in my pocket during the day and i did notice i was like oh that's cool we can just put whatever in here uh now look at that vessel did do a little bit of trickery here they have a wider area so still kind of comes in and out a little bit it's got a little bit of wobble in it just like any you know hands for you know non-tightening chuck but when you go and you try to use one of these you have uh, it'll work but there's a whole lot of slop in it so it looks like jason gets to buy some new uh some vessel bits some other companies may make them too but you know, let's just go with Vessel because this is a number two Phillips. And no, for those curious, it will not work in one of these. Hmm. Uh, and in the letter he sent me, I'll read a little bit of it right here. It's a 220 plus electronic ball grip screwdriver, not available in the US, straight from Japan. In fact, the uh, the sales slip was all in uh, in Japanese there, but yes, it generally has uh, it has enough torque for a big majority of knob replacement without worrying about cross-threading screws. As well, it has enough torque to drill pilot holes, which he sent me two of these, and he says he hadn't really tried them yet. But these are for this, an actual for this 220 USB to drill pilot holes. Uh, you know, in the in the lock world, really, these would just be used for strikes and, and maybe latches. If you were doing a, a fresh install, you would need this. 
And then if you were using the heavier screws, maybe on the strike plates, you would use that one. But it comes with a charging cord. Uh, and I don't really do a whole lot of huge reviews on brand new tools other than just talking about the ergonomics and such. But I will be doing a follow-up video on how I like using this. We'll uh, take it for a spin here in a minute. Let's look at these other ones that he sent me. Uh, I, I opened this and I saw it in the box and I was like, oh cool, I got another one of these. But I was like, it's, why is it gray? And then I noticed it's actually the number two tip. Look at that, the brother, the number one tip and the number two tip. Now, one thing I don't like about that is this gray is gonna get black after a while. This was dirty as heck before I cleaned it for this video. Uh, and these really aren't conducive to back pocket carry, but they are very compact. I've got pretty small hands, so, you know, it's not very long. And uh, the number two tip, so that's actually pretty cool. One of the things that I have been carrying for a while, Stuart XP sent me the PB Swiss number two and the PB Swiss uh, number something flathead fours on the tip, but that's, that's their own measurements. And this tip actually does kind of cut in a little bit. I have not been overly fond of this because mainly because the handle is the same shape and I keep screwdrivers in my back pocket. And when I go to reach and pull it out of my back pocket, unless I take my nail and feel that, which is not gonna happen. Uh, I kind of mix them up. So I'm always pulling this one out, thinking it's the number two. Uh, so I've actually been carrying the old Klein uh, cabinet tip, 3 16 screwdriver. Takes care of the majority of locksmith tasks. Even if you run on a bigger one, this one works pretty well and you can see it's pretty used. The main difference though, and really honestly, the only reason is because I can tell the difference in the handles. Once I find another screwdriver that I can tell the shape of the difference of the handles, uh, then it will be game on for that. Now, as far as vessel in this, he said, oh, well, let's take a look at this one, little guy. Uh, I'm really excited about this. This is a five by 0.08 by 75 millimeter, same as these, same length and everything. Uh, different coloring, which is cool, but look at the tip of this guy. Look how it is cut. He says he likes this screwdriver because it works well for like decorative screws on trim and such. Let's check that out. So having those uh, parallel, having it cut down like that makes it fit into these trim type screws that you commonly find in decorative hardware, which he knows we do a lot of. So having that tip style compared to a regular angled tip like uh, this guy. So almost all, almost all flatheads are angled. This one is cut in deeper. I've actually done this to a number of screwdrivers. So I'm really curious as to see how I like that. I can already tell just the uh, the tip grip is much better on these little flathead screws, which we run into a lot of uh, in uh, the older areas that we have around here. So thanks again for that. Also, the last thing is he got me this cool light. Said uh, he uses this for door work, and I'm actually kind of glad to have this. I've already charged this and this up. Oh. So apparently it's magnetic somewhere on here. And uh, you can just whip it. It's pretty bright. Woof. Nope. Different brightness levels, two different beams. Oh, one out the front too. I didn't even see that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, one good thing about this is that it will, uh, I can use this on doors and such. Did he say it was magnetic? He said it was magnetic. Works well on metal doors. Where's, where's some metal? Uh, duh. <gasps> oh. Okay, so yeah, we can just, uh, there's the two magnets right there. And uh, that will actually be good because I've been wanting to get something to put on doors so that uh, I can see when I'm with like video lighting for the videos, when I'm doing like dark bronze door closers. If I have to do it on a metal door, this will come in a lot handy for sure to light up the scene. So thank you for that. USB chargeable, USB-C. Again, both of these are type C 
so yeah, let's go check this guy out. So did that tighten it up for my comfort level? Let's see, and let's see how this works. It's pretty tight, but it's not snug tight. And, uh, and then I uh, wouldn't be able to get it off probably. Mm. Mm. Once I get a true vessel number one tip for it, then we'll then we'll know how it works on mortise on the screws. Oh, and I do want to say thanks again to Stuart XP because I don't know if I mentioned it, but the PV Swiss number two is my main driver. Best thing about it, uh, he, he wondered if I liked vessel drivers. I do. I love vessel drivers, mainly because most of them do have a sleek uh, area right here. It's very conducive to back pocket carry. I'm still mainly using this because it's about the same length. I kind of stopped using these because I always lose the tip. Uh, but these seem to stay in a little bit better. And they're kind of, if I wear khakis, just side pocket on your khakis, this can actually fall sideways and jab through the pocket. It's happened many times and this one cannot. So I usually grab these three things when I go into a job. That's my main every day, every job. If I'm on a job, these are gonna be in my pocket as well as some bits in here. Uh, I would like to be able to uh, use this in the capacity somehow of uh, a bit holder type screwdriver, but yeah, one day I'll find that. But again, the vessel drivers, yes, I use these in the shop. These are neat. I think Dang It West got me that one. I got this one, the Dallas Cowboy one. Uh, these make great shop screwdrivers because you do have a lot of, it feels really good in the hand but they're not conducive to back pocket carry because they're so top heavy. And they're kind of heavy in general, but they do make good shop screwdrivers, which is what I use them for. The only problem with all of the vessels using it in the field is the one litmus test of uh, security doors that have a double cylinder dead bolt. None of the vessel standard tips will fit in the hole main screwdriver from long ago the Klein number two standard it fits in the hull the whereas here which again I'm not fond of just because of the shape how they're kind of flared out right there just it, they're good screwdrivers but I'm just not fond of the shape but they do pass they do pass that test very well even better than the Klein and then lastly none of the vessels will go in there at all so the PB Swiss I wouldn't be carrying it if you couldn't do that. Yes, you can do that. But yeah, Vessel missed out on that one. However, we do have that now, that'll fit. And now we do have a number two tip, shorter driver, that'll fit. There's nothing worse than walking across a warehouse and getting somewhere and finding one of these guys that uses a security gate or bar or something like that and uh, not having a screwdriver that'll go in the hole. That's the worst thing, having to turn around and go get another screwdriver. So excited to try that out. Thanks again for all of these, Justin. And uh, even going back further, the LTT. Yes, I have used it a number of times, but it's my, it's my fancy screwdriver. So it's not gonna get a lot of hard use. <sighs> I will do a future video on my guy, but the moral of the story for this whole video is, yes, Vessel screwdrivers, check them out.
they use a tip called JIS on some of them, uh, but you can use it fine. Don't be scared off by that. If you see it and you're like, what is that? It's just, it's just a slightly modified screwdriver trip and it actually works really well on most screws that I've tried it on. Uh, so, especially this guy, the number one by 75. Thanks again for all those, Justin T and other people who sent me stuff. So uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions or comments or feelings on this video, post them in the comments section and uh, we'll catch y'all again next video.